Hey guys, what's going on? First and foremost, happy Thanksgiving. Hope you're spending the day with people that you love, your friends, family, etc. Hope you're having an awesome day and have a lot to be thankful for. I know I do. Uh, just between the finds I've made this year and all of my friends, I have a lot to be thankful for. But also, uh, there's somebody special I want to give a shout out to in this week's video. Warren Kruger of Rock Cycle Lapidary is the one who made me this pendant. You guys always, always, always ask me, where did you get that? And just in case you haven't checked out the description below in the past, make sure you do that because it has all of his reach information there. And I just want to show you a little bit of a sampling of the work that he does. Okay, so just to give you an idea, this is my coil pendant that I wear on the regular. It is the Equinox coil. You can get several different types of coils in different manufacturers and different models. Um, so inquire with him on that. This awesome <laughs> silver pull tab. I think I wore this in my last video, but um, it, it's it's just so much fun. It's a really chunky little piece. I absolutely love it. And of course, it's getting cold, so hat pin. <laughs> I just love this. And I know you guys have been seeing me uh, use the Garrett AT Max. He does make Garrett coils as well. Um, just at the end of the day, if I were on a deserted island somewhere, I'd probably take the Equinox with me. So that's what he made for me and if you want to take a little pause to the video there's his reach information and without further ado on with the show okay out at a new spot today i'm not going to show you the house it's built in 1765 up in massachusetts and i got one of uh, my first really interesting targets it's like this brass piping or something but it's got lettering on it Looks like it says I-A-R. <laughs> so obviously it's not the whole thing. I-A-R-V? I don't know. Huh. Interesting. Well, we're going to keep going. I haven't been here that long, so. And we have all day. Okay, my next target wasn't too far away. And it's a spoon. It's ringing up in the low 70s. Very scratchy. Oh, wow. <laughs> That was used for a long time by a right-handed person, I believe. You can tell because of the wear there. Wow. That's a really old one. Beautiful. Look at that. Awesome. Okay, my encouragement is <laughs> lifting up. I wasn't finding targets really for about the first hour, but it's heating up a little bit, so I am happy. We're gonna keep going. Okay, turning the camera on before I pull this out. There's a screamer, and it looks like it's another spoon. It doesn't feel complete. I think it's pewter bowl. Yep. Nice old pewter spoon bowl. That was not deep at all. Ooh, Doggo is coming over to say hi, so I gotta go. <laughs> but good science, gonna keep going. All right, got one of the usual suspects, and it was screaming because it was almost on the surface. It's a falling apart piece of a lantern. <laughs> yeah, that's going to go in the trash bin. But I wanted to show it because it's old and it was pretty close to the pewter spoon, which was like right up there. Uh, and I mean, two inches in the ground. So uh, the property owner said there is a dump on this site and um, she's a dump digger. So I'm going to respect that and not go in the dump. But it's really cool that there are signals this shallow. So, all right. Okay, I think I got something pretty cool here. It was a really loud 53 signal on my Max. I think it's something I've actually dug before. Let's see. Maybe not. Maybe not. Actually, it is. <laughs> oh, boy. Okay, this is actually a moto meter. It would have gone on the front of a car in place of an emblem way back in like the 19, you know, 19 teens, 1920s. Um, and it would have given you a temperature gauge in the middle. I will throw up an example of what this should look like or used to look like right on the screen. That's a cool find. I like that. Let's see what's next. Okay, so <laughs> I thought something that I was just digging was a piece of crap, but it wasn't. The plug was right there. I had to take a brush to this to kind of figure out what it was. 
It's a pirate ship. <laughs> it's like the coolest thing. Oh my god. I love this. It's really, really heavy, so it's, yeah, it's definitely got to be lead. It looks like there's still some paint there, so I don't think it's that old. Um, but I don't really know. <laughs> any any guesses are welcome. Oh, that's so cool, though. That makes the day. Talk about a display piece. I guess it could be, like, not a pirate ship and just an 18th century ship. But we'll say it's a pirate ship just for fun. That's so cool. All right. Well, that put a smile on my face, and I'm going to give it a little bit longer over here. Oh, it looks like I'm finally hitting the hot part of the yard right before I have to go home. <laughs> I have like another hour. Found a little makeup compact. I've found these many times before. So that's pretty cool. It's a very, very iffy signal. But um, the signals are here, so. All right. Yep. Undeniably, the hot part of the yard is right here. I don't know what this is yet, but I like it. <laughs> Looks really ornate, whatever it is. There's a bee right by my head. Hang on. There. And now a school bus. Okay. How much noise can we possibly make? Anyway, <laughs> I don't know what the heck this is, but let me brush it off, get right back to you with this. Because I really like it. The design is awesome. Okay, be right back. Okay, I cleaned up that brass piece. And I'm no further in understanding what this is. <laughs> but it's cool. Let me see if I can zoom in on some of the detail here. At first I thought I broke it because there was, you know, like a hole in it. And then I popped out the rest of the dirt. This appears to be the back. I don't know if it's some kind of doorknob escutcheon or what, but that's a cool curiosity. I'll take that. Hey guys, doing a quick wrap up here. Don't mind all the trash, but that's what happens when you dig a lot, which I do. This is all the trash from today. Oh, I guess this isn't trash, huh? Yeah, we'll put that in the wrap up, why not? But this is all the trash from today. There's a lot of big iron in the yard and it's really highly mineralized out here. So even the iron was fooling me. It doesn't normally fool me that bad, but it did today. So I found some pottery on the surface, actually, nice piece. It might belong to the property owner because she's a dump digger, so that is a possibility. Uh, let's see here, that buckle or horse tie out that I pulled earlier. Uh, that's kind of cool. Let's see, my um, makeup compact. Again, this is probably, you know, like mid-1900s. I don't think there's a coin in there. I actually haven't plucked out the dirt. Maybe there is. <laughs> if there is, I'll update this. But that's cool. Always like those. This guy, curious little item. Really don't know what it is. I might post it to some forums and try to get an opinion. My best guess, like I said earlier, was a uh, doorknob escutcheon of some kind with fancy. So that's neat. Okay, a spoon. This has got to be pretty old. I need to look up my spoonage and see how old this actually is. But you, like I was saying earlier, you can, or at least I think I said it. I don't know. It's been a long day. <laughs> this person, you could tell, was right-handed because this has totally been down here or, you know, worn down. And it looks like it has a, quite a bit of silver plating left, so I will clean that up absolutely. I like that piece. Let's see. My pewter spoon bowl. Always a welcome find. Wish it were complete. I have yet to dig a complete pewter spoon, but it's gonna happen. I know it is. Yeah, let's see my moto meter. <laughs> the last one of these I dug was far more complete, um, but I knew exactly what it was when it came out of the hole, so that's kind of cool. The more you know. All right, and let me see. I've got some like bibs and bobs in here. This is that. Let's see. Oh, can I get it out? Can I get it out? Yes, I can. This is that piece with the lettering on it. I will try to figure out what this is, but I'm, I'm really not sure I'll be able to. Still pretty cool. Um, this I didn't film. It almost looked like it was a chopped up copper or something, but it's not, given the curvature. I think it's actually brass. And it's pretty heavy. Don't know. Got a couple of wheat pennies in there. If there are any key dates or something, I'll let you know later. This curious little item. I don't know what it is, but it looks fairly old. I have no idea. So I, I dug a whole bunch of 
who's it what's it's today, basically. And my favorite find today has to go to, <laughs> I love this so much, I can't wait to display it. This is my lead toy pirate ship. I love it. I actually really, really love that piece. That made my day. <laughs> so, I was looking for colonial stuff, but you know, sometimes it happens, sometimes it doesn't. I did get a couple of period pieces, you know, with the spoons. So can't complain about that. And I think that's going to be all for me today, guys. So we will see you next week.